Hi, my name's Duncan Hunter and I'm a software architect at SSW and I've spent most of the last 12 months writing enterprise .NET applications with Angular and TypeScript. And I'm really excited for the next version of Angular, Angular 2. I think it's going to be awesome for reasons I'll get into in a second. But it's so different, you could almost give it a new name, like Perpendicular. But I think it's going to give the Angular team a chance to implement everything they've learned being the most popular front-end framework over the last six years. But Angular 2 is going to be a huge learning curve, just like Angular 1 was. But once we all get our heads around it, I feel it's going to be a much easier framework to use. And there's going to be some big benefits. It's going to have better performance, easier to use, future-proof with ECMAScript 6, and it's going to use emerging web standards like web components but it will have no two-way data binding and a lot of new syntax. But this will bring a lot of performance improvements without the digest cycle. And there'll be some nice new syntax as well for doing property and event binding combined. TypeScript will be the new default language for Angular 2. And Angular 2 is written in TypeScript, which means that we'll get compile time checking, we'll get auto completion, and we'll get some great refactoring tools. And we'll also get this new decorator syntax shown here with the at symbol. And with this new decorator syntax, we're going to get improved dependency injection. No longer will we do this hacky set of strings for all of our uh, injected dependencies so that they're minification safe. We'll now get this terse syntax and auto completion to boot. There will be no controllers in Angular 2. We'll now have components and directives. And each component will have a view and a JavaScript class. And for these new components, we'll have a new component router to be able to wire together all of our components in our application. And Angular 2 will use ECMAScript 6 modules. And this is really important because in Angular 1, there was no way to asynchronously load modules without doing some pretty hacky things. But in Angular 2, we'll be able to load a little bit of our application on initial load and as we route to another section we'll be able to then load the next part of our application without having to pull down the entire application on that initial load and also we'll get some exciting new tooling coming on the scene with things like JSPM and Webpack. So this is a lot of change and I'm really excited to start using Angular 2 at work and if you haven't started learning Angular 2 yet, now is a really good time to get started. And I'd love to help you stay up to date with all of this change. So cheers and thanks for watching.